Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Arya's Story. In the last episode with Lewin in tow, we headed into the romance section, and we did a bunch of puzzles, we died a bunch, we also ran into the narrator again, who made an allusion to a mysterious he that seems to be giving her orders, but that's about all we know. Uh, we also got the rainbow key, which in this episode we're basically going to find out what that goes to. I have a hint that it goes to either this do the door up here, or the door in the moon wing? Well, it's not that one, so... Wasn't there another locked door around here, though? Maybe I, maybe I was wrong. But, like... It wouldn't hurt to double-check. I know there were two locked doors in the moon wing. Oh! It goes to this one. Ooh, a bunch of rainbow beds, and one of them is not made. Okay. There is a message written on the block on, on this box. A minus R plus one times A. I'm getting the feeling it's like that puzzle in Franbo, where it's like each letter is represented by a member of by a letter of the alphabet. So let's see. Hmm. That doesn't make sense though, because like, A is the first letter in the alphabet, so if we minus anything by that, it would be like, a negative. So... Hmm. Just a random guess. Nothing happened. Maybe we'll find out like, what each letter represent represents. Maybe. on the wall. Doesn't seem to work, although the hands are shiny. Want to take the hands off the clock? Sure, why not? Worst that happens is that we die. Hmm. It's weird. A couple of the beds are... Oh dear. Hmm. So let's see. What is what letter in the alphabet is R? So let's see. I want to say it's the twenty-eighth. So, hmm. Taking negative numbers out of the equation. So, 28 minus 1 is 27, plus 1 is 28 again, and one, anything times 1 is that number, so... Nope! Okay. Hmm. I don't really know what else to do here, though. We can't really interact with any of the, uh, with any of the beds. Maybe we can just, like, go see what these clock cans are for? It's worth a shot. I mean, they can't really... Oh, wait! It's a bit of a crapshoot, but, like... This book said we'd have to come back at a later time for a painting lesson. So I'm wondering if we could possibly just find a clock in here and change it to the right time. Oh, wait, what the? Mm. Nothing here then. Shit. Okay, I guess there's no clock here then. So then where the dick do these clock hands go? Hmm. Wouldn't hurt to save just in case. Hmm. 
Maybe there's something over in, like, the moon wing that we can use the clock hands on. What? Okay. Bus has been broken. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Door is locked. Hmm. Oh wait, right. We never did, we never did see what was in here. Hello. I want to learn how to play the violin, but I don't have hands. Yeah, that would be that would that would do it, huh? It's a clock, but it doesn't have hands. Well, shit. We have something with that. We have something for that. Oh, I'm sure we're taller. Lewin, get on my shoulders. Teamwork. No, just use a chair or stool. Okay. Buzzkill. Uh. North. Clock is working again. Yay! There are pumpkins here. A pumpkin. Two pumpkin. I can only assume... What happened? Uh... I fixed the clock? Let's see... Doesn't seem like there's really much else to do here. Maybe something... If, maybe something changed somewhere else? Now that, uh... Now that, uh... Now that the clock's working again? I figured it had something to do with midnight, otherwise there wouldn't be, like, a dog-eared page in here. Or, uh, a marked page, anyway. I just kind of assumed somebody dog-eared it, but, uh... I just kind of assumed, like... Oh, hello, narrator. <laughs> I'm delighted to see you both here. What do you think about your stay in this library? Don't you narrate what we're doing? I don't know. I do not know if I should narrate what happens to Lewin, so I prefer not to do it. I was going to consult him about it, but I wanted to read some books and entertain myself a little. Unfortunately, I've forgotten that I cannot read books. A real shame. You can't read books? Don't worry. Lewin and I will teach. Lewin and I will teach you how to read. We don't have time for that. I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I think this is a misunderstanding. You do not need to teach me how to read. I know how to do it. Then why can't you read? I cannot answer your question. I'm just a narrator. I should t I should not tell you things about myself. Also, you should not waste your time with me. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Well, that's not real helpful. And not to mention, just like, there's a he behind a bunch of- oh. Hey, what's going on in here? Every time I start trying to talk about something, something happens. Hmm. Look around on the bookshelf, see if there's anything here. No? Alright, what's in- Is there nothing over here? That's weird. You'd think there's like a door or something here, but no? Maybe we should go back in here? No? Hmm. Well, there's gotta be something in here, or otherwise it wouldn't have unlocked, yeah?
books on, their sh uh, on the bookshelf. There's one called Secret Code. A long time ago, it was common for lovers to exchange their thoughts with a secret code that only they knew. This allowed them to be able to communicate freely without fear of anyone discovering their true feelings. There are many other variations, but the most common one was to use symbols or numbers to replace letters. Oh, let's see. Okay, so we really just need to know which ones spell out Arya's name. So let's see. A is 25, R is 8, I is 17. Okay. 25, 8, 17. 25, 8. Hi. This chest wasn't here before. What happened to these flowers? I don't know, but we should go. Okay, 25, 8, 17. 25, 8, 17. 25, 8, 17. Uh, where's the safe feather? Here we are. A is 25, R is 8, I is 17. A is 25, R is 8, I is 17. Sorry if I just like repeat this list up to myself out loud, it helps me remember. Okay. A25, R8, I17. Okay. 25, 24, I want to say it's 34. Times 25. Well, 34 times 25 should be 850. Nothing happened. Aria, multiply and no multiplying goes before adding and subtracting. Right, shit. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, so 17 times 25. That would be... Four hundred and twenty-five, and then sorry, math isn't my strong suit. It's four hundred twenty-five, and then twenty-five minus eight is still seventeen. So four hundred twenty-five. Plus 17 would be 422. Yeah! There's an apple inside. Cool. Don't know what we're gonna use this for, but I have a feeling. I'm just gonna save first just in case. But yeah, sorry that was kind of like awkward. Math is not my strong suit. Thankfully, Lowen was there to remind me how to math. So. I'm getting the feeling that we put the apple right here. Maybe. Did you place a new apple? Thank you. The previous apple rotted, and I couldn't find a new one, so I had to cancel my painting classes. Are you interested in painting? I'll give you this so you can practice. Black paint. 
cool. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this black paper, though. So let's, uh, find out, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's not helping. So, I guess we find out... I guess we just like poke around and find out what to do with black paint then? Hmm... Then again, I do have an idea. If we can find a door with stars on it, maybe. Because, like, in order for the moon door to open, the stars have to disappear. Oh! Wait, moon door's already open. I didn't know that. My opinion, ballet is one of the most elegant dances. Huh. Odette the White Swan. Is that a reference to the Swan Princess? I think it is. Odile the Black Swan. Beautiful painting of the m Hmm. Why is there a sloshing noise in here? Anyway. Moon painting. Black paint. No? Hmm. Maybe we have to use it on the door? No? Actually, hold the phone. This black swan isn't very black. Now it's a black swan. Has this painting always been like this? I thought there was a moon before. Oh. Keys to submit has appeared in its place. Yoink! Lunar key. So I can only assume. This lunar key unlocks the sun room? Unless it's already open now. Oh, it is open. Could have sworn these were locked before. Could you tell me who is the most beautiful statue in this room? Be careful, despite their appearance, they're all liars. Uh. Beautiful painting of the sun. Whose statue is the most beautiful? I am the most beautiful statue. Most beautiful statue in the room is the purple one. Orange statue and the yellow statue tell the truth. I am the most beautiful. Trust me, I'm not a liar. Green statue is the most beautiful. That is the truth. Oh boy, it's one of these again. Okay, so let's see. Blue and yellow tell the truth. Blue is the most beautiful. Red is, says she's the most beautiful. Green says it's purple. Hmm. Purple says it's blue. Blue says orange and yellow tell the truth. Orange says that it's her. Red says that it's her. Hmm. It's probably either yellow or green. <clears throat> nope. Wait. Yes? 
Now I am the most beautiful statue. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take the uh, key. Key. Let's take this key and leave. There's something shining inside my pocket. Oh. The eclipse key. Cool. Let's get the fuck out of here before we die. Well, let's save before we die, probably. I want to see what's behind that door, so I'll make this episode a little bit longer. Use the eclipse key. Can I ask you something? Hmm? Hmm? What up, dear hand? It's bandaged. Does it hurt? This? It's not important. <laughs> Even if it's not important, I'd like to know about it. <sighs> I, keep you, I guess you'll keep asking until I tell you. Fine. Ooh, is it flashback time? I know that I probably don't look like it, but I'm actually a writer. A writer? Don't be so don't be so excited. I'm not famous. Doesn't matter. I admire every writer. They're the creators of the books that I love so much. I never thought I'd meet a writer. <sighs> I already told you not to be excited. Don't make a big deal about it. As I was saying, I was writing a book, but I couldn't think of a good ending. No matter what I wrote, it, when it was in, it wasn't the ending I was looking for. I was so obsessed with that book that I neglected my health. Oh. I forced my hand too much then so that I ended up having to wear this bandage. I won't be able to write anymore until my hand recovers. <laughs> Maybe you can think of a good ending while you recover. But I hope you won't do the same thing when you recover. You shouldn't neglect your health. I know. I won't do it again. Can I ask when you started writing books? Since I was very young, but I was a kid. Nobody wants to read a book written by some kid. I'd read them. Hmm? What did you say? I'd read your books, and I'm not saying it to make you feel any better. I mean it. Yeah. I know. You smiled! I thought you couldn't do it! Hmm. That was your imagination. Wait, don't leave me alone here. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling that these two know each other? It's just like a sinking feeling. Oh, this book is amazing! You should read it. I recommend it. I already read that book. Really? What did you think about it? The writer did a good job. It's a shame that the book isn't very well known. That's true. I'd like to talk with more people about this book. Sounds like how I feel about Planescape Torment, really. Like, it's critically acclaimed, but, like, nobody, nobody like, these days really seems to know about it. Speaking of which, if you haven't already, you should probably watch my Planescape Torment LP. Plug, plug, plug. Oh, quiet book. This is the best area in the entire library. It's as elegant as a mansion. I'm sure the other but I'm sure the books from other areas are jealous. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I wasn't done looking at this yet. I should probably also see if there's a feather nearby. Oh, here's one. So, well, that cuts Ian out of the way. I guess we'll continue exploring this part of the library next time on Let's Play Arya's Story. I will see you guys then, and take care. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing and hitting that subscribe bell. If you want to see more of my content, there are some recommendations for you on screen right now. See you soon!